the first time of an Anzac amphibious ready group. There's three ships behind us at the moment, the Jules, the Canberra and the Canterbury, the New Zealand amphibious unit. And what we're about to observe is what is called a combined force entry operation. We'll see an amphibious unit with its capabilities uh, push ashore and land the land force. Amphibious capabilities are inherently flexible uh, from peacetime roles to wartime roles and that's why we need it and why we practice it. Doing this all together as part of the larger umbrella of Talisman Sabre uh, and the way these things have been sequenced in here, it is a great demonstration of how we operate as uh, coalition partners and also from a joint perspective. So you're looking at all services and then operating in all the domains. So this has come together fantastic. The weather's worked out great for the airdrop and for the amphibious landing. I'm excited to see how this thing uh, works out with the, with, the, with the Marine Corps and the other uh, coalition partners out here. We execute uh, an airdrop into, into, a, into a foreign country 19 hours away. And when they get to the ground, execute the mission that they've been trained for, execute it with discipline. That's what we're here to do. It, it assures our allies and our partners out across the Pacific that we are prepared and we are ready to face uh, any challenge that we may meet. This is essential for us to be able to certify uh, the Amphibious Ready Group, working with both our Kiwis but also with our American allies. You can see that we, we uh, are able to put our own practice alongside those of the other nations and prove the interoperability which is essential in an operation like this. So having US forces, New Zealand forces here with us brings a size and a mass that we can't replicate at any other time. Size is complex to organise and construct and move, uh, so we learn a lot from doing so. This has been on our pathway for introducing the amphibious force for a while and it's a really important day for us.